Hello students, another answer key here real quick. This one deals with the comparison of models and illustrations. So I just wanted to take a real quick moment here and kind of show you, kind of give you a rough idea about how you could do this. So looking at this first one here, right? Let's see here, we have two models of enzymes and the enzymes are taking in substrate and they're producing uh, products, right? So looking at these two models, how are they similar? Well, first off, they both show substrate becoming product, right? They both uh, they both have an enzyme. They both have they both have an active site. One thing that I uh, one thing that's obviously different is the fact the top model you have one substrate becoming two products, while on the bottom you have two substrate coming together to form one product. One thing that I also notice is the top the top mentions the enzyme substrate complex where the bottom does not mention the enzyme substrate complex. Uh, let's see what else. Aside from that, they're both pretty similar aside from a few basic things. But yeah, so that's comparing that one right there. Let's take a look at this one, this next one. Looking at these two versions, right, these both deal with inhibitors. The top version shows us only the competitive inhibitor, while the bottom one shows us the competitive inhibitor and the non-competitive inhibitor, right? So they're similar in that they show us the enzyme, they show us the substrate, and they show us how the inhibitor, either uh, how the inhibitor prevents uh, substrate from accessing it. So if you look at the top, it really goes in depth. The top one specifically deals with the competitive inhibitor. It shows us how this is what normally happens and uh, substrate enters the active site of the enzyme, a uh, chemical reaction happens and it's broken into two parts. With the competitive inhibitor, it takes up the active site and the enzyme can't enter, right? Really focuses on that. With the bottom one below, the reason why it's different is it shows us what happens. First, it shows us what happens normally. It shows us the chemical reaction that would normally happen and then it takes it and it splits it off into two parts. We see the competitive inhibitor, we see how that stops it, and then we see the non-competitive inhibitor, how it prevents a chemical reaction from occurring. Uh, so that's kind of the simple version. This one goes more in depth. It explains more about both times of, types of inhibitors. This one only really explains competitive inhibitors. This one also kind of show, there's more pictures, more drawings that show and illustrate competitive inhibitor. Whereas with this one, you only have really two small drawings here at the bottom to kind of show it. Uh, let me check time real quick here. All right. I think we're making look pretty good on time. So those are the first two. And now for the last one right here. Last one. If we're comparing these two models of denaturation, right? And we notice with the top one, right? Obviously, it shows that denaturation occurs and that the enzyme can't fit in, right? Both of them show that the enzyme can't fit into the active site. That's something they have in common. They also show us that currently it shows that denaturation is happening in both, right? So that's another thing that they have similar. One thing that they differ in is that whereas this one is not specific about what denatures it, this one is. It shows that when we go from our optimum pH, to the pH, to optimum pH of 2 to a pH of 5, that's what causes the shape to change, right? One thing that they have in common is they both have the substrate, uh, they both have the end, they both have substrate, both have enzymes, both show the denaturation of the enzyme. The bottom one shows that the pH changing is what causes the denaturation. The top one just tells us that denaturation occurs when it could be temperature or pH or a variety of things that cause it to denature. Uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell, right, when it comes to these things. Hopefully this suited you well. I hope you guys have a good day. Use this to help prepare for the coming FA. I hope you have a good day otherwise.